Well, hello there, guys, and welcome to another short tutorial on Legions of Steel. Today, we're going to cover basic firing modes to allow you to cleave through those machines like nobody's business. Follow me on this tutorial and let me know what you think. Now, as you guys could probably imagine, distance affects a great deal of how your shot is actually fired and how accurate it's going to be. In this case, let's go ahead and aim at this machine here. 50% chance, not great, 1 in 2 chance. Let's go ahead and actually move forward and take a shot now and see if we can hit the enemy. As you can see, we missed, but our chances were increased by 16%, which is much better. And since we're a heavy trooper, we get to fire once again. And this time we actually got a hit. Don't forget that the heavy trooper guys gets two shots a turn and four shots if you are in rapid fire mode. Automatic fire. Now automatic fire is a firing technique guys that allows you to shoot twice instead of once in a turn. The problem is your accuracy is going to be greatly decreased. So let's go ahead here. We're going to jump into automatic fire um, and essentially we're just going to select one of these machines right here let's go ahead and select the first open fire and we actually got lucky enough to get a hit and now we get a second shot we can open fire this more or less covers automatic fire of course realize once you use it you now no longer have the ability to fire a uh, ambush shot if an enemy comes through the door but you will get off two shots in one turn now, if you have a heavy weapons trooper, he's got a plasma projector. And this means that when we actually go here and select automatic fire, he can actually fire four times instead of two. This is one of the benefits of having a heavy trooper, of course. Uh, as you can see, he's carrying a very awesome plasma projector here, and it's definitely going to help us take out some machines. Suppression fire. Now, with suppression fire, guys, I highly recommend that you don't put yourself in this position. You want to make sure that suppression fire is happening when an enemy is rounding a corner, almost like an ambush. Anyway, the way you select it, you go ahead and select your trooper, you go to the actual radial menu here, and we're going to select suppression fire. As you can see, we could select anywhere on the map where we want to target that suppression fire. In this case, if the door was closed, you would go ahead and do this, and as you can see, we actually got a hit. Um, in this case, our, our trooper actually fired, but now the suppression suppression target is marked here so any units running by will actually be hit and as you can see we did not actually have to take rapid fire for the counter in other words we could actually counter two enemies at a time as opposed to one if two guys come around the corner and I have suppression fire targeting them then they're both gonna get shot at despite what trooper I have this is a very useful technique but again you really have to know when to use it and where to use it to make it effective well, I hope that helps, guys. Remember to keep your safety on. You don't want to blast one of your buddies in the back. We're aiming at machines here. Don't forget to use those covering techniques that, you, that I showed you before. Also, the standard fire technique is really, really just fine on its own if you're targeting a single enemy. But always make sure to consider what fire mode you want to take before you actually go ahead and initiate contact. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that thumb up button and post a comment down below if you'd like to see something in the next tutorial.